In a major collaborative research initiative, an international group of 14 scientists from a range of disciplines have gathered at Columbia University's Biosphere 2 Center for an El Nino experiment in the laboratory's rainforest, an acre tropical habitat supporting a complex patchwork of vegetation that is a functional model of the Amazon rainforest. El Nino years tend to bring hot, dry weather to the Amazon region, where nearly half the Earth's undisturbed evergreen forest is found and account for about 10% of the planet's primary land productivity and carbon dioxide consumption. Understanding the Amazon rainforest's response to such climate variations is of particular importance to climate change scientists. This most recent of four drought experiments simulates the droughts that may follow this year's El Nino in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. The experiment, begun in the winter of 2000, restarted September 23rd and will continue until late November. Lead researchers Dr. Guanwei Lin of Columbia University and Dr. Joseph Berry of Carnegie Institution's Department of Global Ecology are investigating the effect of a dramatic decrease in precipitation to the carbon storage and carbon release relationship within this 11-year-old man-made rainforest. We use here as a tool to predict what's going to happen in a real rainforest rather than wait another 20 years or 50 to see the consequence of the climate change. In addition, international scientists traveling from Germany and Scotland have joined colleagues from all over the United States, collaborating on a diverse array of experiments, such as studying remote sensing, ecosystem productivity, trace gas fluxes, water budget, and soil properties. It's been a huge advantage for, certainly for the Edinburgh Group, to be able to work here with uh, other international institutions who are also collaborating in this experiment, because it, certainly, it gives us a chance to combine measurements uh, that we make with physiological measurements that other groups are making. The collaborative research approach was first envisioned in the mid-1990s by Dr. Wallace Broker, a noted Columbia scientist who was one of the first to champion the need and value of the Biosphere 2 Laboratory for climate change science. Initially, the experiment begins with heavy rains. Then, the mini ecosystem is allowed to dry out for at least 28 days with no further precipitation, simulating the effect of El Nino. The artificial ecosystem's uptake of carbon dioxide is then measured. Scientists debate how much of the carbon dioxide from the burning of fossil fuels is absorbed by rainforests and how the absorption rate changes with climate. By absorbing carbon dioxide, the rainforest slows the increase of atmospheric carbon dioxide, thereby possibly slowing global warming. The only way to predict the impact of such episodes on rainforest ecosystems is by mathematical models designed to simulate basic biological processes. Validating such models is critical, but extremely difficult in the real world where controls are absent. Biosphere 2's rainforest provides not only the control capability, but also a representative ecosystem community that can be exposed to the same conditions as during El Nino years. Using Biosphere 2's unique rainforest, scientists can now validate their modeled results.